Hey all, Tom Moran here from Tom's Big Spiders. This one's gonna be very different because what we have here is kind of a blind unboxing. My lovely wife, Billy, saw me moping around the house the last several weeks because of this whole social distancing thing and the fact that I don't have school, so I'm doing school from home with my students, school at home with my kids, and apparently decided to lighten up my day a little bit by surprise ordering me some tarantulas. So not only didn't I know which species I was getting here, although Full disclosure, she's been listening to everything I say because she picked ones that I was already looking at, but I also didn't know who they were coming from. And once again, proved she was listening to me because I was talking about ordering from this individual a couple weeks ago, which was awesome. Um, just a heads up, it gets a little bit weird. I've been punchy. We've been, I, I basically sit around all day in front of a computer doing lessons and then bouncing over and helping my son with his work. I just got out of the house for the first time in about a month today to run to school to pick up a tablet real quick and then just came right back. So it gets a little weird in the middle. Now, another thing I just want to point out, the person that we ordered from is Tom Patterson, who I ordered from in the past. You may remember a video I did where it was an unboxing video and I had a bunch of awesome spiders. And a little funny tidbit here, a lot of people confuse Tom for me when online. I'm not on Facebook very much. I believe Tom is much more active on Facebook and they will approach him thinking it's me. It got to the point where somebody even went so far as to make this clever meme right over here to explain the difference between the two of them. So if you're talking to Tom Moran, you will see the Tom's Big Spiders logo. If you're talking to Tom Patterson, what you will have is the Batboy logo, which I believe was the story they used to run in the weekly world news back in the day. Cool little image there. But anyway, Tom, thank you so much. So enough of me talking. Let's get on to the video. All right, so we got a, what's going to amount to a surprise unboxing. Now, full disclosure here, Billy picked this one up today and already opened up to take the heat pack out so it didn't roast all the little spiders because it was a little warmer day. But she was fantastic enough to surprise order me some spiders, so I have no idea what I'm getting here. I think this is because I've been stuck at home doing teaching for my own teaching, teaching my son, and I have a new imaginary friend named Roy that I've been hanging out with that apparently is perturbing her. So what we're going to do is open some spiders here, see what we got. I honestly have no idea. Roy's unhappy now because we called him imaginary. Do I have to worry? <laughs> nah, he's pretty quiet. Although he was trying to get me to do pot the other day. What? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know anymore. That's <laughs> what happens when you sit at home all day doing Google Meets with teachers and trying to keep a straight face. And I have a terrible poker face when somebody says something that's particularly moronic. And then so. I hope your teachers watch your channel. <laughs> I don't really even care anymore. Oh, I like you all if you're watching. I don't think most of them even know I have one. All right, so. Here we, this is what I need for the attic, actually. I wonder if we can get a bunch more of these. We've got the insulation. We've got newspaper. I'm terrible at unboxings. There's probably not going to be a fat pack and stuff, so it's going to say who they're from. They're from you. They're from me, but I didn't... And Roy. No, no, Roy has nothing to do with it. They're from Roy. Oh, look at New York Fashion Week. This must be old, because I'm guessing that's not going on right now. All right, let's see what we have here. <clears throat> it's like Russian nesting dolls. Oh, Fashion Week again. <laughs> the, best the best medicine is friendship, hence Roy. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is going to be one I look back on and go, what the heck was I doing? Ooh, Xanthus amenus. Uh, this is awesome because I was just saying, which I'm guessing Billy was actually listening to me. So you do listen to I me. I do listen to you. <laughs> she does listen because I tend to prattle on quite a bit. Do you guys think I prattle on on my videos and in the podcast? You should hear me around here. I do not have a Zens, Zens this. I have a hard time pronouncing it. Species, I, it's probably the most requested care video I get. And I, it just, I never got around to buying one. Early on, it was because I was cheap as heck and they're always expensive. Later on, it's just like, I don't know. I just didn't get one. Expensive. So <laughs> there's still, no, I, the, believe me, I know. And then, oh, we got some more in here. All right. So we have Haplocosmia species. Black femur. Black femur. Well, those would be cool. And then we have Bonatina Alagoni. It sounds like a fancy pasta dish you would get. A posh Italian restaurant. Hopefully, it's a fancy Italian restaurant. Hopefully, it's like the colors of the Italian flag. You should be able to guess who these are from. And Cythericanthus cyaneus. Cyaneus? 
Can I always pronounce it wrong. I don't know. Cyan. 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 Like cyan, right? Like I got everybody made fun of me the way I pronounce green bottle blue. So absolutely awesome. Thank you, honey. I appreciate it. We will be doing a rehousing of these in a moment. Thank you, Tom Patterson. Oh, I didn't know Pat Tom Patterson was. He's the one that bred those uh, first mm -hmm. U.S. species, so that's why oh, I ordered that's these right. all I didn't, from him. Oh, I didn't know these were all from him. Yes. I didn't know who they were even from. I know. From. That's uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> Thank you, Tom Patterson. Thank you, Tom Patterson. Awesome Appreciate it. This is fantastic. I ordered these on Saturday. Uh, Saturday. I oh, know. I ordered these on Sunday. And he shipped them yesterday. Fantastic. So I didn't day. even know who they were from. I would just open up boxes of spiders. Tom, sorry, I'm really not that crazy. Um, just been a lot of time alone lately. <laughs> so there we go. We'll do the rehousings on these ones. Awesome species. It's great to do. That's awesome because I haven't done business with Tom in quite some time. The last time I ordered from Tom, it was one of the best shipments of tarantulas I ever received in my life because it was a bunch of freebies. It was some cool spiders. So awesome shipment again. Thanks, Tom. And we'll go on to housing them soon. We're on. All right, so it's time to rehouse this amazing batch of spiders that we picked up from Tom Patterson. Again, this is my second order from Tom. I got an order years ago that I still have some of the spiders. They're some of the coolest ones in my collection. He always seems to have some really cool and unique stuff, and he's one of these guys that tends to be on the oops, this poor one, on the forefront of breeding as far as producing some new species for the first time. So, for example. The Kyanasis, the Kyanasis, I believe that was the one who the first, first, US, first sack. US sack, which is impressive as heck. So here we go. We're going to start with the easier one, the bigger one first. And for those people that have missed the clicking in the background, that was Molly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good size. The other ones will be tiny. Let's see which direction it's facing. The trick with these is never to pull it out so that the it collapses on the spider. <clears throat> That's good size. That's that's way bigger than an inch. Good. All right. So my enclosure is appropriately sized. There we go. Get a shot at that. That's the X Amanis. Against this Amanis. And my first of this genus, which I'm sure probably won't be the last. There you go. There you go. Go to your new home. Oh man, that's good. that's a big spider. That's no joke. That's not a tiny spider. And we'll fatten that one up real good. <clears throat> and right in the new the starter burrow. So there we go. We're into a piece of cork bark. Can't wait to grow this up, and can't wait to finally tell people I do have one of these species because I get asked about them all the time, and I have to embarrassingly admit that I don't have any. All right. So next one we will do is Bonatina alagoni. I can see this one. This one's looking pretty good size too, I think. Oh wow. Um need a bigger. We need a bigger boat. <laughs> um eh, eh, eh. Hmm. This one might be one we do in uh a deli cup. This is the trick. I always try to have a lot of things handy. So that if something I made is too small, I don't know if you can see it in there, but it looks pretty good size. So I'm going to set up something slightly bigger for that one. So we'll hold on to this one for afterwards. Let's try the C. Pianius. I think it was like March 15th, they were second in star. So this one's probably really tiny. All right. It, it's on its own. Facebook, he had pictures of them. Oh, this is ah, it's a good size. I don't know if you can see the little one all the way down there. Oh, yeah. My gnarly fingers. All right, so let's see if we can get that one out. There we go. The trick is to get it all moving at once. You don't ever want it to constrict the spider. I've heard horror stories of people that pluck the thing out and squish the boil. Oh, it's a good size one. Oh, yeah. 
These guys are just stunning. Oh, you know what the species looks like? Yeah, I thought we saw pictures of it, right? Maybe oh, I no, didn't. that's the one you have to do in the bigger one. That's the reddish one. Oh, oh my. This is something I don't know what it looks like. Just don't think you have it. I think I know it. All right, so I thought this, I was just looking these up. So look at this is perfect because I got the cap that goes right on it. Ah, beautiful. See, Cyaneus? No, wait. I thought that was the Bonito one. You just... Hmm? Oh, okay. They're on the right caps? Okay, never mind. Billy is trying to make me go insane. <laughs> What did I tell you, Roy? <laughs> yeah, those are the ones that were second right. in Star March. I think. Yeah, now you got me second guessing myself. So what? We're gonna have mystery spiders when we're all said and done because now I don't know what's going. Haplocosmia species black femur, I believe Billy said it was. Yes, black femur. My memory serves me well. All right, let's go ahead and get these out. This out. This one's pretty. Eh. Let's see if I get up. There we go. Ah, beautiful. So it might be a little tight too. Although I have this one here, so we can always switch it up. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's a well started little spider there. That's probably close to three quarters of an inch, an inch maybe. Oh, there we go. We get a look at that one. This is the so if I screw up the caps, we have it right here. Aplocosmia species black femur, gorgeous little one. So this one's actually going to need something a little bit bigger. So we will cut in a moment, and I will come back with bigger enclosures for two of these, and we'll get them in those enclosures. Black femur, right? Yeah. Here we go. All right, so previously in Times of Big Spiders, just kidding, we're not going to do that. We don't have to do that because we're just going to be, this is just going to be a quick cut. But we have the Hapocosmia species black femur that ended up being a little bit bigger than I planned. So always try to have a bunch of different sizes and shape containers ready for your tarantulas when you order them because you're never quite sure exactly what size you're getting. Sometimes you picture something is bigger or smaller. And this one is wonderfully bigger than I was expecting. So we're going to go ahead and try to put it. I did a little, little poopy. And I need my brush. And amazingly, this one just sh sh sat there the entire time whilst I got the new containers ready. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Come on. Go down. Come on. There we go. Let me get a shot of that. Oh, just you're like doing it. nuts. There it is, right in there. <laughs> a skittish little dude, right in there. Adorable, very well started. Much bigger. I got. I'll add a little more water in here afterwards and spray it so you can get a drink on the side. And we're gonna put the cap on here so I can do the labels later on. Make sure there's nobody in here. And then we have the Bonatina Algoni. I just like saying Algoni. Just like the sound of it. That would be Lily. Yep. Slowly. In the background, snoring. That's uh, she's a feature on my podcasts. Actually, I cut most of it out, although I left some on the other day. And there we go. <clears throat> Oh, that's a good size one, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, those containers would have been much, much too small. Well, let's get a little shot of it. Hopefully her. We oh, too close. What I'm trying to do is get her right in from there. That was adorable. Good size, too. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hopefully she'll go right down into this nice moss. There she goes. 
And that is the Bonatina Elegoni. So awesome. Once again, some really cool spiders. The last time I ordered from Tom, I got some of the coolest things ever. The Pernensis, a um, couple really cool ones. My El Cortalis, just spiders have become favorites because nobody seems to have them and I just love stuff that's unique. And so it looks like we got some unique ones this time. So thank you to Billy for reaching out to Tom and picking these up. I had no idea who she was ordering from, what she was ordering. And she does apparently listen to me because there are spiders here that I was just recently talking about, which is awesome. And obviously, we'll keep track of these guys as I grow them up. And fingers crossed that they all turn out to be big, beautiful females. Or little, beautiful females. All right, so we had a little bit of fun there. Again, things got a little bit weird. Now, as far as Tom Patterson is concerned, this guy has probably forgotten more about the hobby than I will ever know. So if you do approach him and he's lucky enough, if you're lucky enough to get an answer out of him, no, this guy knows his stuff. He's been breeding species for years. So while I talk about him, Tom's doing the hard work actually breeding them and getting them out there. And he's done a lot of first and second uh, breedings in the United States. He's brought over a lot of species that we don't see over here a lot. And that is absolutely fantastic and kind of like one of the unsung heroes of the hobby. Because if you're finding a spider that you know is not very popular or not found in many places chances are it might have come from tom so tom if you're watching this thanks so much bud i appreciate it and i apologize for all the people that are confusing you for me i wish i would get some people confusing me for you that would make me feel really good about myself but anyway that'll do it for this one as always if you like the video enough to subscribe very much appreciate you can click the little circle right up there if you want to check out some more ahead of time you can find them over there please feel free to leave a comment i answer all of them it can take a few days but know that if you comment i will answer it Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope everybody is safe and healthy, and we'll catch you all next time.